アトム Alright, so welcome back to some more Anime Mania, guys. Today we're gonna be using Marco the Phoenix. Now, a lot of people have been telling me in the comment section below in my Katakuri video, you should start using Marco. So here it is. I'm gonna try to get him to at least level 30 so that I can get him to like, I guess level 30 is a decent level to try him out. But I'm gonna equip him into my slot too because apparently this guy is a really, really good support unit. Apparently he heals you. So I mean, you could probably get to a high weight with this guy 100%. Alright, but let me go ahead and summon some uh, fodder units real quick and level up Marco. Alright, so I just got done summoning. So let me see if this is enough to uh, get this guy to level 30 or 30 plus. Doesn't matter. As long as he's higher than 30 or just 30, that's enough, I guess. Alright, let's get all the fodder units real quick. There you go. Okay. So 805 XP should get... Okay, level 31. Alright, perfect. Alright, cool. What the? What's wrong with this dude's legs? Anyway, we're gonna go into some infinite mode. And um, I don't know if I should go into the One Piece infinite mode. I might... Actually, I'm gonna go in there. Yeah, One Piece infinite mode. Let's see how Marco does on that. Alright, so of course, I'm going in there solo because we need to see the full potential of Marco. You know, going in solo. Of course, I... Wait. Hold on. I mean, I just thought of something. If I have... You know, if I'm using Marco and I'm able to use the assist with the heal... I could basically have double heals with Marco. That's kind of busted. Hold on a minute. Wait, let me try using it right now. The skill. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Yeah, that's the thing that heals, right? Oh, shoot. Hold on. I have an idea. Bro, you still can't mute the music on the One Piece game. I'm going to... Bro, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to go into the Bleach one instead. Reaper, where's the infinite mode at? There it is. All right, let's go. Hey, finally, I can mute the music. Okay, now I can hear some sound effects as well while I'm playing the game. Okay, perfect. So... All right, so does this deal damage or does it actually heal me as well? Or does it do both? Okay, so it stuns them, it deals damage, and it also heals me. Hold on, let me try to take some damage. Actually, I don't think I'll take any damage from these guys because they're way too weak. All right, so let me just go ahead and kill them real quick. There you go. This, actually, this move is so good. The assist move is really good, and I'm just going to be surprised if it actually heals because people said it heals. And this guy's skills is actually pretty good. The catapult... That move, I don't know if, like, that's actually, like, um, iframes, though. Because I forgot to go into the testing chambers to actually try out the skills for this guy. I'm just going into infinite mode blind because, guys, I never used this character before, so. Alright, soaring combo. I don't know what this does, but let's try it out real quick. Okay. That's actually really good. That was a cool move. I can't lie either. Head dive? What is this? Okay. Oh, okay. That, that skill's pretty good, too. Now, I don't know which one has iframes, so. I gotta figure it out while I play, so. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Okay, soaring combo. Um... That is a weird glitch. I don't know what just happened, but I guess I'll just take a little bit of damage real quick and then heal myself. Uh, oh, shit. I almost killed all of them. Hold on. Let me uh, summon this real quick. All right. Heal me. Heal me. Oh, it does actually heal me. That's crazy. And then I could activate this and heal myself again. Wow. That is OP. <laughs> Guys, this character might have, honestly, like if I think about it, like this character has like really, really big survivability. So I think you could get to a pretty high wave with this guy, but you could honestly do that with any character. Okay, so what I was trying to say is like you could pretty much do this with any character as long as you have Marco as your assist because the fact that he heals is really good. And you guys saw how much health my health went up like when I was damaged. The quarter of health that I lost went back up in like what? Like in like two seconds pretty much. So if you just keep your distance and just keep running until your healing is back up, that's all you gotta do. And now that I think about it, if I were to use Gojo with Marco, I could literally use Reversal Guard and then use uh, Marco's heal. So I won't take damage from the enemies. They'll get stunned and then I'll also get healed. Man, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting hyped. There's some, you know, some team setups that I'm thinking about. And uh, that one's definitely going to work out. Right, let me kill these real quick. Let me get to the higher waves and see how good this guy is. Also, if you guys comment down below and tell me which moves are actually iframes, that would be nice because I still can't figure out what is iframes on this guy. I'm pretty sure... I think catapult might be iframes though because like it is a move that you like charge in with so it makes sense i don't know about soaring combo like the range on this move is pretty nice and it does like really really good damage and the fact that it's aoe attacks multiple enemies it's just really really good i don't know which character is the best in this new update guys katakuri this guy marco um the law of guy it's just i don't know man i don't know i haven't tried the other two out yet but nl is looking pretty nice too so i might just release my next video on nl though because nl Man, like his, his lightning moves are so nice. I mean, wave 10 so far. I mean, it's pretty easy though. Gotta get to the higher rounds to really see the full potential of Marco and his healing. I want to see how far I could really get. So this is going to be like, I don't know, maybe, maybe wave 50 plus. Hopefully, I guess. Oh, whoa. Okay, the Cero just hit me. Let me just uh, heal up real quick. I think that might have been a waste, but 
I use the assist anyway, so it's not a big deal. Let me try using Soaring Combo from this distance. Does that land? Okay, that actually did land. Yeah, this this has really good range. Let me try to use this first one. Does it heal me while I'm... Wait, I want to take damage and try using it myself. Because maybe the actual skill when you use it yourself instead of the assist, it heals more. So I want to try that out. So let me just take a bit of damage real quick. Okay, there we go. Now I'm halfway. I guess that's enough. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the first skill once the cooldown is back. Hold on, it's almost there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Does this heal me as well? Wow, this also heals me too. And I could just activate this as well <laughs> while I'm comboing the enemy. That is so OP. This is literally busted, man. You could survive so much with this character. Just the fact that this guy heals so much might be like making this character the best character out there. I might level him up to max. I don't know. And the fact that he deals so much damage. His combos are nice too. The catapult move is really nice too as well. It has like the dash, AoE, soaring combo is good too. Everything about this character is just really, really good. Even the head dive. Look at this. Boom. Everything's dead. Look at that. That was actually really satisfying. Soaring combo in the air. Let's go. Oh, that, that almost killed it. But how much health does it have? Okay, there we go. Took forever for it to die. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this move right here is iframe. Oh, no, it doesn't because he hit me while I was doing it. So, okay, that move does not have iframes. Let me try this one real quick. Soaring combo. Uh, I think this one doesn't have iframes. Soaring combo, but it interrupts the enemies so they can't attack you. So, I guess in a way, like, it's kind of a move that makes it so that the enemies can't really attack you. But I need to, like, wait for more enemies so they can shoot shells at me while I do the move. I don't know about head dive. I think head dive does not have iframes. I don't know. I, wait, did that do 505 damage? Did I see that right? There's no way that did 505 damage. I gotta try that out again. Well, is the game not loading in? Okay, there we go. Let me try to use this head dive move again. Here we go. There's no way it does that much damage. It does 505. How much damage will this guy deal at level 80? I only have him at level 31. I don't even have Gojo dealing that much damage, man. What? This guy is sick with it. Okay, all I can say is that at this point, it doesn't even matter if this guy has iframes or not because the fact that he can heal and that you could use him as an assist as well to get more healing and you could use it like this is super funny to me. All right, here we go. Catapult. That does 160. Why does this guy deal so much damage? You're only level 31. Why do you deal so much damage? I wonder how good he would be if I got him a trait. I actually haven't got any of my characters a trait yet, so I might actually give this guy a trait. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think. What do you guys think traits are actually worth it or not? And if I were to go for a trait, which one? Because there might be different traits out there. I actually did not get into the trait system at all, guys. I'm kind of, I guess you could say I'm just a noob that grinds the game too much and then doesn't really figure out everything about the game. I might actually make this character my main character. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get these enemies to shoot Seros at me so I could see if Catapult has iframes. So I'm going to try that out in a moment after I kill this angry Ajuchas and see how it goes. Dude, does that does that work as a combo? What the? Okay, it doesn't work as a combo. Wait, Cero? Okay, so it doesn't have iframes because I just took damage. So Catapult does not have iframes. I'm going to try out the um, other moves after. This one right here. Iframes... Oh, it has iframes while you're doing it. It has iframes for like a split second. So the healing move, the first move has iframes for like just a second, I think. J just something like um, Katakuri's like uh, Mochi Grenade. Because I thought that move doesn't have iframes, but it has iframes, but just only for like a split second. So I don't know. Maybe Catapult is like that too. Okay, so wave 20. Let's see how this goes. We got Byakuya here now too. Head die with the sword. Okay, that's a combo right there. Literally. That's a, that's a whole combo that I just did right there. Hold on a minute. Okay, so the combo would be like, I guess, three. No, no, no. It would be four. Um, three. One and then two, maybe, I guess. I could try that out. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try it. Wait, I have to wait for... Nah, I could just use the assist. Okay, head dive. Head dive. Okay, number three now. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, the assist, the assist. Where the assist at? Come on. All right, and now use catapult. Oh, we got the combos going as well with this character, man. This guy is so OP. Guys, I thought um, Katakuri was a good character. I can't lie, he is a good character. But, I mean, this dude is just leagues above him. The fact that he can heal, he could combo as well. And his damage is super high. Look, I'm literally about to kill Byakuya. Byakuya's about to die. Look at this. Oh, Byakuya's already dead. Catapult this dude. And he's pretty much almost dead as well. Honestly, it's actually easier to land a combo on this guy than a Katakuri. Yo, if I butcher any of the Japanese names for this character, like Katakuri, because Marco is not really a Japanese name, but Katakuri, bro, if I butcher that, it is what it is. I ain't Japanese. My, 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 my thumb can't twist like that, bro. Come on now. All right, but real talk, though. I recommend getting this character. 
this is my favorite move using it like this all right so i just want to show you guys something real quick because i'm at wave 25 and the range of this dude with his soaring combo is insane watch this i'm gonna run into the enemy and pretty much i'm gonna get all of them from this distance watch okay not all of them i guess but that's pretty much most of them like come on now that is a lot there's a lot of enemies hold on let me activate this real quick there you go get them iframes i swear that has iframes it looks like it okay hopefully the assist helps out there we go it did all right everything's dead let me kill it real quick well almost pretty much yeah you gotta kind of step back with that move because that move has like it, it, it kind of goes a bit forward when you use it so gotta watch out with that move all right here we go soaring combo right into the enemy there you go everything's getting hit that's actually satisfying whoa everything's attacking me though wait hold on they're like climbing on me bro they're making they're making a tower what happened to the enemies on this game they're getting smarter and smarter every update i don't know if you guys seen the cannoneers but the cannoneers let me walk back when you try to get close to them they're really improving the ai on this game this it looked like it was like the one part in this one movie called like um world war z okay so one thing that i just saw is that with the first move you could literally keep spamming left click while you're getting healed and you're dealing the damage and then your character will automatically set up a air combo for you i'm gonna show you guys that in a moment what the how did i get here am i glitched no i glitched what is this what's going on why what? yo uh oh no oh this is not good this is not good this is not good, bro. Okay, there we go. I'm back. I'm back. All right, so watch this, guys. I'm going to use the first move real quick. It literally sets up a auto air combo for you. Watch. I'm spamming left click. Look at that. Look at that. Literally, it's so good. The, every, yeah, this character, guys, is something else. He's built different. Oh, I'm kind of low on health. I need to heal up. So uh, let me just get a little bit of health right now. There you go. Um... I'm kind of low, so I'm going to catapult past these guys. There you go. Get get a few down real quick and heal up because I'm actually, like, taking a lot of damage. And this is not good. I'm going to head dive the heck out of here. There you go. All right, I'm going to wait for my, uh, yeah, there you go. Assist is here. I'm going to use a soaring combo real quick as well. All right, kind of doing good. Kind of doing good. It's not bad, not bad. Okay, enemies are going to come in now. Crazy. It's wave 30 now. Yeah, wave 30 is definitely going to be harder. All right, let's try to land this combo real quick. Let's see if I can. Okay, there we go. I kind of did in a, in a way. Whoa what the okay got flung all right you can also combo the first move with the third move so that works as well but can you do something like this i want to try this out what if you um combo the first move with the third move and then use uh wait on uh, nah let me try this let me try it this way i'm gonna try it this way hold on let me wait for my cooldown to come back real quick okay so it would be um it would be this move real quick spam this spam left click get that air combo real quick the free air combo okay i didn't get it this time because this character has like iframes or something he's kind of like stuck in the ground or whatever he's doing but this is what i want to try out if i did soaring combo in the air but wow the cooldown on that move is pretty fast look at that that's crazy wait let me try that one more time i'm trying to do an air combo with this guy all right he got the iframes again with his shout or whatever with his Cero. can i air combo this guy here we go damn i kicked him down i couldn't do it all right i'll do it next round i guess let me just heal up this real quick because it ain't looking too good right now all right, there you go. Max health. Okay, guys. So, it looks like Catapult also has... Yeah, Catapult has iframes. Because uh, Byakuya was using his skill and it did not land on me. It didn't... You know, it wasn't taking damage. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird. One thing I wish this game would show you is like... Let's say if like any of the enemies like about to do like a special skill or something like you would know if they have iframes or not. Because you can't really tell like when the enemy is actually activating iframes or not. Like, you're just there, like, looking at, okay, did he activate or not? Like, some ter some characters you could tell, like, the Serral one. But sometimes when they, like, just slash you and they get iframes, you can't really tell. All right, let me try out this combo that I want to try out, though. So, this first move real quick. Let me get that free air combo as well. And then soaring combo in the air. Oh, yeah, it works. It works. This is awesome. Why am I getting teleported back into the same location? What is wrong with my character? Oh, my God. What is going on, man? I keep getting teleported right over here. What the heck? Look, look, look. Look at this. I swear the game is about to kick me out like, oh, you were exploiting. Because this happened last time when I got like 1 million damage with Minato. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but I literally got kicked out for like suspicious behavior, which was weird. Okay, bro. What is going on? Yeah, I'm sure the game broke right now. There's no way. All right, you guys. So I'm at finally wave 35. And all I can say is that the survivability of this character is literally insane. I feel like he has iframes on all his moves. That's how much I'm surviving. I'm literally taking no damage like ever at all like look at this i still have taken no damage and i'm i'm literally just spamming all his skills like the assist move combined with the first move is something else like it's really something else and like you could do so much combos with this guy man i'm really enjoying this character 
Like, watch this. This combo right here, smack him down to the ground, hit the assist move with the catapult. Literally destroys him. Oh, shoot. Enemies coming in. Oh, the lag, the lag, the lag. All right, but yeah, I'll see you guys once I reach wave 40 because that's when everything gets pretty hard. All right, you guys. So the real test has begun. Now I'm finally at wave 40. This is where I'll truly see uh, if uh, this character is actually really, really good. But guys, take it in the fact that he's level 31 as well. Imagine how OP this guy would be at level 80. Just saying, his head dive must be like around like, I don't know, man, 5k damage or something. Something around that. I don't even have a character at level 80 yet, so I don't know, okay? My highest level character is level 60, and that's it. I gotta start, um, you know, leveling up at least one character to level 80, because I just keep getting characters to, like, level 40 and 30, and that's pretty much it. I'm not really, like, focusing on one character, so I gotta start doing that. But, I mean, look, wave 40 was an easy, peasy defeat, not gonna lie. Uh, but wave 41, when Aizen starts coming in, might definitely get a lot harder, because he got that one move that stuns you. And you literally can't do anything. And there's also Grimjaw that teleports to you as well. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. And I'm already taking damage. But the fact that I have these two heal moves is really good. Like, look at that. Boom. Back to full health. Let's get it. Okay, Aizen's here. I think Grimjaw's here as well now. Okay, there you go. The lag just kicked in as they spawn. Let me just go ahead and dive in with some combos. There you go. Catapult real quick. Which actually landed somehow. I don't know how. Okay, bro. Oh my god, there's so much enemies. Hold on. Let me just summon this real quick and my other heal. Oh, I wasn't in. Oh man, I'm not in range for my heal. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, bro. All right, wave 41, man. I mean, look, as a level 31 character, getting to wave 41 is really, really good. Like, I get to like wave 45 or 46 with my Gojo and he's like level 60. So, I mean, that was really, really good. So my honest opinion about Marco, do I recommend this character? Get him. This guy's probably top tier. Maybe at, like literally S tier. If there was like a uh, tier list for this game and like S tier was like the highest. I'm telling you right now, Marco for assist character, S tier. For like using him like an actual character, S tier. Honestly, he's really good. But I look, I haven't tried out the other two characters, like the newest ones. So I don't know because I still gotta try out NL and the uh, Lava guy. Uh, what's his name? Akainu or something like that. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for Marco the Phoenix. This character is pretty dope. And also, um, if the microphone does sound like a little bit echoey, it's because I'm in a different room. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to, you know, like and subscribe if you haven't. And thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Peace out.